It's important, obviously. We don't, I mean, it's a challenge when we're shorthanded and there's more demand than we have manpower for. Obviously, we're trying to squeeze as much, much out of our talent pool that we can get. Uh, you know, so it, it, I think it's just a cultural thing. Um, you do have to be extremely careful with that because, you know, it's what I find is people aren't necessarily leaving the trade. They're just leaving my company and they'll just go someplace else. Um, and I think it's different, you know, on the new construction side versus the service side. So we also had a Benjamin Franklin plumbing franchise here and, you know, it's the on calls, it's the weekends, the nights, um, you know, it's tough to do in a smaller shop for sure. Um, and so, but you have to be very cognizant of it because it does, it just, and that's where I think that, you know, we'll see guys, people will leave our company and go to another company that maybe it's, you know, they don't have to go on call. That's what they're told when they go over there. Of course, everybody has to be on call eventually in a service company. But on the new construction side, I think it is. It's, um, you know, it's it gets hot here in Phoenix. And so, you know, we start early and, and we hope that, you know, we try to get the most out of our labor pool that we can. But, um, you know, we, we've got guys running around all day long. They've got water. They've got, um, you know, cool towels, that kind of thing, just to try to help out, especially in the dead heat of the summer. Um, other than that, the guys do a pretty good job of self-regulating. Um, you, you know, we find that you can't push them because they're, I mean, you can't to a degree, but that's really just for the standards. Um, you know, for them to make a living, they need to be there doing a certain amount of work anyhow. Um, but yeah, when it comes to, you know, it's just something that I think every contractor needs to be aware of. <laughs>